So I wanted to explain to you how to properly stain a canvas. Um, and I actually have two videos already about staining canvas, one from five years ago, which is, you know, way too old. And uh, I wouldn't recommend going back and watching that one. I've got another one where I explain how to use this uh, Geneva Fa uh, Foundation uh, canvas stain, which is a, our number one selling product at Geneva, by the way. And actually, and that's part of the reason I'm doing this video is that we have a lot of people buying it. And in the video, I don't think I explain it well enough. And I've used it myself since then. So I just wanted to explain to everybody exactly how to use this uh, Geneva canvas stain, but it would also be how you would stain if you were uh, preparing your uh, stain the, in a traditional way. And, and in fact, if you watch my video from five years ago, it'll explain to you how to use, you know, regular uh, name brand paint to, to prepare a stain. But either way, once you have your stain uh, mixed up and ready to stain the canvas, this is what I want to explain, is that don't uh, make any attempt to try to get full coverage on your first coat. The key is, is to do two very thin coats. Now, I've already painted the first coat on this canvas, um, and you can see um, how thin I've painted it. It's, in fact, very brown. You know, the stain itself is not as brown as that. You can see the difference. There's the, the stain color when it's uh, fully opaque and not, not showing the canvas through. But when the canvas is showing through, it's going to look very brown. You're going to see, uh, you know, some of the canvas showing through. And it's just completely, um, you're not getting full coverage at all. And that's good because if you're getting, if you're putting a lot of paint down, like I am here, you're going to get these lines. And you don't want to paint um, on top of those lines just because it's going to put texture into your surface. It can cause little, you know, streaks of glare or whatever. And if you're, if you're painting vertical and your light's coming from above, you may not notice the lines as much. But point is, you don't want any lines whatsoever. And the way to do that is to do two very, very thin coats. So the first coat of the canvas, I've, I've painted it. And if you put too much paint on, wipe some of it off. It's just you don't need um, a full coverage. It's going to be very transparent. Now, the second layer, the, the thing about it is it's very, very easy to get full coverage. And you don't need uh, very much paint. And so the second layer is going to be pretty much as thin as the first one. In fact, it might be as thin or even thinner as far as, uh, for all I know. But um, it's basically um, the same thickness as the first coat, which is pretty much as thin as you can paint it. I mean, you can almost just, you know, wipe it off with a paper towel. I mean, it's so thin. So that's really the point of this lesson and, and in staining your canvas, preparing your canvas to, to paint on is you don't want a bunch of lines and the way you achieve that is two very, very thin coats of paint. And you can see how little paint it takes to get full coverage on this canvas. I'll just finish with some vertical strokes. And I'm using just a hog's hair brush. This is just an uh, inexpensive chip brush that you can buy at you know, a big hardware store. Um, but they're actually uh, true bristles. So I like the natural bristle. I like these more than the synthetic. And so I'll just finish with a very light stroke. There's a brush hair in there. And you really only need just full coverage and no more. Now when that dries, it's going to dry to a nice, flat, um, smooth, perfectly uniform surface without any brush marks in it. So this is our number one product now at Geneva Fine Art, and it's really, the demand is just really growing for this, and we're real excited about it. We want everybody to try it, so we're going to run a special at GenevaFineArt.com, and if you buy our essential palette, which is our, the five uh, colors that I recommend, um, you will get a free tube of Geneva Foundation canvas stain shown in, thrown in with those colors. Now that set of five colors has got a 10% discount already on it, and that's still going to be in, in place, but you will get an additional free tube of can, uh, foundation canvas stain with your set. Um, if you buy our complete uh, Geneva palette, which is every color that we make, uh, we'll include two tubes of our, our foundation canvas stain. So go check that out at GenevaFineArt.com, and we'll see you guys next time.